So in this video, we will learn how to add TradingView alerts to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you are using TradingView to have a record and alert updates of all of your favorite stocks and indexes. And then you want to add those new alerts into a Google Sheet to have a complete track record. Now let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting an alert message on our TradingView account, which are the alerts which we are creating. And the action will be adding those new alert updates into a Google Sheet as a new row. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as trading view to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is we are creating some kind of stock or index alerts inside TradingView. So we are going to connect our TradingView account with Pavli Connect and whenever whatever alert we create, TradingView will give an alert message for that alert. We are going to get that same alert message inside Pavli Connect as well. So here in Pavli Connect guys, in trigger window and choose up, search for TradingView. Select TradingView over here. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select new alert. And then here you can see that after selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to connect TradingView with Pavli Connect and get the alert messages. So here guys, how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here. And after that, just go to your TradingView account's homepage. And after reaching to the homepage guys, here what we have to do, we have to create an alert. Just click on this create alert button and then here you have to set up the conditions for this alert. Like what kind of stock or index it is, it is regular trade hours or what it is and then what is the status for which you want to create the alert. So here in the drop down guys you can see there are different status. So we are going to select the status as crossing. Then we have to enter the value that for what value we are setting up this alert. So here guys we are setting up this alert like whenever this index nifty index is going to cross this point then we want to get an alert message. So right now you can see that Nifty index is trading at 18,325 points. So let's set create or uh, and set up an alert for 18,326 points over here. Then it is asking us options. So only once you want to get this alert or every time it is going to cross. So if you just want to get the alert only once for crossing this value or whatever event you select over here, you can select it. But if you want, every time it is going to cross this value, this index or stock is going to cross this value. In that case, you want to get the alert message. You can select every time over here. After this, guys, it is asking us expiration time that at what date and time this alert is going to expire. So this is the date and time on which this alert is going to expire. That is exactly one month after today. Then after that, in alert action, guys, here you can see an option named as webhook URL. Just select this option over here. And here you have a field named as webhook URL. Now guys, in this section, we just have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from there and paste it over here. After copying the webhook URL, here we have to set up the message. That what is the message you want to get after getting this alert? With this alert, what is the message you want to get? So here in this message, we have by default written the name of the stock or index. We have the condition that is crossing, which we have selected over here. And then we have the points or the status that for what points we have added this alert. Then after that, for example, I want to get the volume that at what volume the stock or index is trading right now. Then I also want to get the current price and the time that what is at what date and time the stock has crossed this price. So in the help text below this message, you can see you can use special placeholders such as close, time, plot, etc. over here. So when you, you will click on this question mark button of help, you can see that there are some placeholders we, which you can add in this message. 
and in that using those placeholders you can get the price of your stock you can get the volume of the stock you can also get other details of the stock that at what date and time this stock has actually crossed that value then you can also get that exchange that from which exchange you are getting those details and all of that so here you can refer to this page and add as many as alerts and placeholders in your message as you want right now in this video guys we are going to have a look on just three basic things that is the volume price and close uh, time so here let's add a placeholder for volume so let's add volume and in double curly braces write volume placeholder over here just a second after volume i wanted to add the price so let's add price and the placeholder of for price is close then after price we wanted to mention the time and the placeholder for time is this in time in double curly braces so here guys you can see that we have created a message and then in this message we are going to get the name of the stock or index we are get the status we get the points that at for what point we have created this alert we are going to get the volume we are going to get the current price and the time that at what date and time it has crossed so in this way guys you can basically create any kind of message over here according to your choice after this guys just click on this create button and here you will see that as you click on this create button the alert will be created so we have created an alert and yes here you can see that just now it has crossed this points of 18326 points and here we can see that we have received a alert message instantly and because we have created this alert with public in it using the webhook url we will see the alert message which we have created with all the details will also be received inside public connect so here in public connect guys you can see that we have received some response and in this response we have the name of the stock or index we have the status for which we have created the alert and we have the points that for what point we have created the alert we have the volume that at what volume it is trading right now we have the price and also the date and time that at what date and time this points this alert was received and also this date and time guys is in utc time format so right now while sending the data using webhook url trading view sends the time in utc time format so here guys now you can see that we have received the alert message from trading view inside public connect but here guys in this message we have collectively received all of these details now we want to add these details like the volume price time and the alert details into a google sheet but in our google sheet we have different columns for all of this data so what we have to do from this alert message one by one we have to extract these details details like first we are going to extract the alert details like for what stock or index we have created the alert what is the alert status and what is the alert value then after that we are going to receive the details of the volume which we have received with this alert message then the price the time and other details whatever you can get so how we can extract these details now to extract that just scroll down come to our action window and choose and choose app here we have to select for feature of public connect and that is text formatter select text formatter over here and after selecting text formatter by pavli in action event from the drop down select the action event text text parser then just click on connect and after clicking on connect the first thing it asks us is the text that what is the response what is the text from which we want to extract the details so we want to extract the text one by one from this response so here what we have to do we have to response or we have to basically map this response which we have received from trading view over here in this field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and in the drop down below you can see the alert message which we have received from trading view can be seen over here just select this response of this alert message and it will be mapped so we are going to extract or pass the text from this data from this response then it is asking us text after match text match after so here guys first what we want to do we want to get the details of the stock alert so here are the details the name of the stock the status and the value we want to get the details but here in text match after we have to enter the text that after which we want to extract the details but this is the post text of this response so we are just going to keep this blank and here in text match before we are going to enter this comma space volume as the text match before so it we are telling this step we are telling this text parser step that we want to get the text before this data comma space volume so what we have to do we have to exactly copy this and after that just paste it over here in text match before and click on save and send test request 
When we are going to click on Siemens and test request, here you can see that in our response message, in our alert message, the text which we have entered text match before, the text before this data, before this uh, value is received in response. So here in response, we can see the same details. So we have received the alert details. Now we have to use the same process of text formatter or should I say text parser again and again to get the other details. So using the same text parser, we are going to get this response of volume, what the exact volume response, the response of price and also the response of time. So let's use text formatter once again. So just click on this add action step button over here. And once again, search for text formatter, select text formatter. And then in action event from the drop down, select text parser click on connect once again map the same text from trading view responses and this time in text match after we have some text so here the text match after will be this comma volume hyphen just copy this text after we want because we want to text get the text after this we want to get this data in response so we are entering that we want to get the text after this so just map it over or enter it over here and then in text match before guys, what we have to enter, we have to enter comma space price. So in any of this data guys, we are not going to enter actual value, which will be keep on changing. So every time we get the message, we have to ensure that we get the message in the same format. We get the alert details, then we get the volume, then the price and then the time. So in this way guys, what it is, we are going to exactly pass the text data. And also you have to ensure that you don't get any kind of dynamic data with these details. So here while adding before and after, you don't map any kind of numbers or dynamic data. Then just click on save and send test request. And here you can see that using splitter via our text parser, we have received the volume. Then just click on this clone step button. Here you have an option to clone the same step. Just click on this clone step button. Click on clone now and the steam same step will be cloned. So this is a feature of Pabli Connect guys using this feature. You just don't have to keep on creating or adding new step. You can just clone the exact step in the next step as well. So we have cloned the step. So in the previous step in response, we have received the volume. In the next step in response guys, what we have to do, we want to get the price. So here we have to enter the price. So select this price as text before, sorry, text after text match after and paste it over here. And then we what we have to do, we have to enter comma space time as text before. So here, comma space time and click on save and send text request. And the data between these two values will be received inside Pavli Connect. So this is the price. And one last time we have to clone the same step. So just come up and here you have this clone step option. Once again, for the last time, clone the same step and this time we are going to get the time that at what time we have received this alert message. So here you can see that in the previous step, we have received the price. This is it. And now here you can see that we have to basically get the time. So here in time guys, we don't have text match before. Just clear it, keep it blank. And in text match after, we have to enter comma space time. Hyphen space. And then just click on save and send test request. And yes, guys, here you can see that in response, you have received the time. So in this way, all the values of placeholder, all the values of alert messages, we have received all of those values. We have extracted all of those values using text parser. Now what we want to do, we want to send all of these details into our Google Sheet. So what we have to do, we just have to send this data to Google Sheet by clicking on this add action step button. And here in choose app, just search for Google Sheets. and click on Google Sheet over here. Then after this, in action event guys, from the drop down, you have to select the action event as add new row. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Google Sheets button and select your Google Sheets account. After that, just scroll down and click on continue. And after clicking on continue, you can see that we have successfully connected our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets over here. And out of all of this, we have to select the spreadsheet in which we want to add these details. So we have named our 
spreadsheet as stock alerts from trading view so we want to add the data in this sheet so we are going to select this sheet from the drop down after selecting spreadsheet the next thing it asks us is to select the sheet so in this spreadsheet guys you can see that right now i have only one sheet named as sheet 1 that's why in the drop down we can only see one sheet as sheet 1 just select it and then you can see that all the columns of data which we have created in our google sheet we can see all of those columns as fields over here so one by one we have basically extracted the text details the data from the message which we have received from trading view in public connect so one by one we have to map the data in their respective field so let's start with alert details just click on this field and in the drop down below after using text parser for the first time we have received the details of the alert which we have created so just select this details of the alert and map it over here then for date and time just click on this field and in the last step of text parser we have received the date and time that at what date and time this alert message was received from trading view just select it and map it over here then in current value price we are we have to map the price of the stock the current price which we have received so in the third step after using text parser for the third time we have received the price just map it and in volume guys here using text parser we have also received the volume so just enter or map the volume over here as well so in this way guys you can basically use text parser to get the data from the message which we have collectively received from trading view and you can use text parser as many times as you want to get these details after mapping all of this data into google sheet guys just click on this save and send test request button and after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that you have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here basically the alert message details which we have received from trading view is been added in our google sheet so let's check it we'll go to our google sheet and yes guys here you can see that in our google sheet a new row of data is been added and these are the same details this is the same data which we have received as an alert message from trading view so for in our trading view account we have created an alert and as we receive the alert message we have automatically added those alert details into a google sheet as a new row so guys now we can see that our automation workflow is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation let's test this automation once in real time so we are going to create another alert in our trading view account let's change the settings and this time we are going to set up an alert for the value of for example right now this index is trading at 18335 so let's set up an alert for 18336 points sorry 336 points and then just all keep let's keep all of the details as same the same web book url same message and click on save over here now what we are going to do we are going to wait for this stock or this index to reach this point on which we have created the alert so let's wait for a few minutes over here and yes guys now you can see that as the stock has crossed this point for which we have created the alert instantly we have received a alert message this in this message we can see all the details like at what volume it is trading right now what is the current price and also the time so as we receive this data this alert in trading view instantly automatically this alert details will be added as a new row in our google sheet so let's check let's go to a google sheet and yes guys here you can see that we have the alert details that for what event for what points we have created this alert so this is the index name this is the status and this is the value for which we have created the alert we have the date and time that at what date and time we have received this alert then we have the current value of this alert that what is the current value of the stock or index and we have the volume so in this way guys we can see that the automation workflow which we have created is working absolutely fine so not just these application guys you can connect plenty of other applications using public connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own public connect account and also let me tell you public connect offers you a forever free plan and in this plan you will get some free tasks every month into your own public connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day